Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Flammy and in this episode of Radio K I'm gonna be reacting to the comeback of g Idol with their title track Hua I assume that's how this is pronounced because uh, it is a little bit of a weird title but I'm pretty excited to hear how this song is going to sound like because uh, apparently it's been a very successful comeback for them uh, the song has stopped like uh, what was it 50 uh, iTunes chart in 50 different countries or something like that and they are the only other girl group other than Blackpink to get into some other chart I don't, I don't remember, I don't know exactly but the point is that it's been a pretty successful comeback so I'm curious uh, and hoping that I will also like the song because after all I'm a pretty big fan of G-Idol but sometimes whenever something is really popular uh, because I'm a little bit of a contrarian even if when I don't want to be contrarian, there's a little possibility that I'm not gonna like it, but yeah, we're gonna find only by checking it out. But before we get into it, I just wanna quickly say if you end up enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you go over to my Patreon and donate any amount of your own choosing or join any of the tires over there. Because as much as I love doing these videos for free and for fun and for you guys to enjoy, and I will keep doing these videos no matter what, I do need to support myself in some way. And uh, I still can't make money off of uh, my YouTube channel for two reasons. Because I don't have a thousand subscribers, which is what the requirement is, if you didn't know. You need thousand subscribers to be able to make money off of ads. And two, even if I had thousand subscribers, uh, the K-pop reaction videos don't make any money. Because the, song, uh, the videos get claimed by the companies which the group, uh, which own the groups. Thus, any money that could possibly made through these videos goes towards them. So literally the only way I can make money off of these videos is by you guys supporting me over on Patreon. And it's not like I want to guilt trip you into supporting me, that's completely up to you, don't feel bad if you can't or don't want to do it, that's completely fine. But in that case, uh, I would hope that you at the very least would uh, be okay with liking this video, subscribing to the channel and checking out other videos uh, that I've made, or maybe sharing this video with someone who you think might enjoy it because other than money, that's the second best way to support me and keep the channel going. But anyway, enough with those, thi uh, with those things that you probably are annoyed that I'm mentioning. Uh, let's get into the reaction in 3, 2, 1. Okay, definitely interesting beginning. Are they making it look like that's her hair flowing? Like braids? Definitely has an iconic comeback feel to it. Also, honey, what did they do to your hair? Yuki is my bias, but that hair does not work for her at all. It's not the worst hair I've seen, but it's pretty bad. Okay, this seems like a different song for G Idol. definitely feels very different from what I've done so far. Maybe there are a couple of similarities with, uh, uh, what was the word for it? Uh, the name of that song. Their first comeback after Latata. Let me look it up. Man, Shuhua doesn't really have even, ne neither screen time nor lines in this one. I mean, it might just be me not noticing her, but we haven't even... We've barely even seen her. Oh, she... There she is. So 
So yeah, this one definitely has some similarities to Han. Not only the weird uh, name for the title track, but I feel like in the structure and the vibe, it, it has uh, some similarities. And I really liked uh, Han, so um, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this one. Like, the structure of it definitely feels similar because this sounds uh, as if you could easily replace the hua part with like Orijiri no Ususu and it pretty much would go in the exact same way. But I don't really feel like uh, this song has the, quite the catchiness that Han had. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Like, this song definitely has the epic, uh, iconic comeback feel to it, which uh, usually makes uh, a song get into my like top 20 lists um, But I'm still not sure whether I would listen to it um, for myself because like after first listen as I said, I think it has the iconic feel down to uh, Perfection, but in terms of catchiness, I'm not really completely sold on it It might get better after the second listen and it's probably get, gonna get better after the second listen but it's just not quite as explosive as I was hoping it was going to be. Like, I wasn't the biggest fan of Dum Dee Dum Dee, you can check out my reaction. You might be surprised by how uh, positive I, I guess I was, or at least conflicted I was with that song, compared to how I'm saying that I was, but... It wasn't my favorite Giado song, but I liked it a lot. But for this one, it feels like it's better, but I, I kind of even feel like Dumpty Dumpty was like a little more interesting and I'll probably end up listening to uh, this song less than I did for Dumpty Dumpty, which was already pretty low on my playlist, you know? But yeah, um, I like the outfits, I like the looks of the members in this music video, but for the song itself... It's definitely in a good direction, going in a good direction, because as I said, it has similarities to Han, and I like Han a lot. It's probably, I mean, it genuinely might be my favorite Jido song, because it's the most different one. Uh, and the one with the most depth to it. Um, but it doesn't really quite hit the highs of that song, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Again, again uh, we're gonna get into it one more time. So let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. I can never see why it's such a popular song right now. Also, Soyoung has a lot of lines in this one. Okay, yeah, it's definitely good growing on me already. Although I am bothered by how much uh, Shuhua is sidelined again. Like if you're not gonna give her lines, why include her in the group in the first place? Like that's my opinion. I'm not the kind of person to really focus too much on like distribution or anything like that, but if you don't give a don't really give a member lines, why include them in the group in the first place? I love her hair. The color is so pretty. Okay, Yuki somehow manages to work that hair pretty well, but still, I'm not a big fan of that haircut.
and the four seconds of screen time for Shukua are done. These dresses look really good on them. It's probably my favorite outfits in this music video. Like seriously, why is Shukua so sidelined in this song? Okay, that's a little bit of an abrupt ending right there. Okay, so after the second listen, the song definitely got better, but I still have a couple of problems with it. The biggest one is why Shuhua, who is not even like my favorite member or anything, and I'm not a person to complain, uh, the kind of person that complains about line distribution that much, unless it's like super egregious. But why is she so sidelined in this song? It's not fair, like, no hate to Mion or anything like that, but like she shows up. Uh, like, I think the most in this song, or at least uh, second most after Soyon. Uh, and like, I feel like it's just the way the music video is shot, it like switches from uh, uh, one member in one place in one set and then switches to the same member in a different set instead of like maybe giving some of the lines to Shuho and I know it just bothers me because like we open the music video with Soyeon and then it switches to a different shot with Soyeon and I don't know those are like two separate things but it just bothers me as well and it feels like a combination of these two it's just like instead of giving Shuho lines they just give a different set to some of the other members I don't know I don't know um, but with the song itself I definitely have some problems um, I think it's probably the most iconic comeback so far. It just has that iconic feel to it. Um, but it's not quite as explosive as Han was. And as I said, it has a very similar structure uh, to Han. But it doesn't go quite as explosive uh, with it as, it as Han did. And the parts, uh, there are some parts of this metal that I really like. Like the ones that sound... Um, oriental, for lack of a better term. Um, I like those parts, but they're not uh, amplified as much as they should be. They should be, I feel like they should be focused a little bit more because they give the song a very interest, interesting, um, exotic feel. And it's just like kind of limited towards the end of the song, where, where I feel like it should have been more spread out toward, throughout the song. But, oh no, those are kind of like nitpicks, except the line distribution thing. So, overall, it's still probably gonna end up with a high score for me, but... After two listens, I'm still not exactly sure how much I would listen to this song on my own, because... It's not bad by any means, it's probably... The... Most objectively good song from them, like, it's the one that will be accepted as the, their best song by the biggest amount of people but I don't know it's not the song that I would call their best or my favorite for sure so yeah in terms of the ratings I guess I'm gonna give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10 um, and it's honestly closer to an 8.6 if I gotta be completely honest but I'll still give it an 8.8 .8 because it does have that iconic feel to it so but honestly, if the line distribution thing wasn't as bad, or as if it was as... Uh, basically, if it was Han, I would have given it like a 9.4 out of 10 at best. But it is a good song, don't get me wrong. It's just like not my favorite g Idol song. And it's not a good, as good of a song as I was hoping it was going to be. Like, I'm not really mind-blowing. I'm like, okay, like, I'm whelmed. I'm not overwhelmed, I'm not underwhelmed, but I'm kind of, like, <clears throat> whelmed in the middle. So, yeah, 
Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So um, I guess I should mention that I'm gonna be reacting to the B-sides of this album. So you can expect that either today or pretty soon after this video gets uploaded. But there's a lot of videos that I need to upload soon. So there's gonna be like a rapid fire of K-pop reaction coming. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe. Also, check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there. And to my WhatsApp where I post my stories. Because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you want to enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge your support and help keep the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!